Once Elaine Horowitz opened her own gallery in 1973, she started mining the local talent for new artists to include in her gallery. One of those artists was Masood Yasami, a young Iranian artist who was finishing his MFA at Arizona State University in 1974. I remember him well because my studio was just down the hall from his. Masood Yasami came from a very wealthy family in Tehran, and he was known for driving a green Jaguar and having a wonderful house in Paradise Valley. But Primarily, what was special about him is that he was depicting the Southwest in ways that no one else had been doing before. He was using an airbrush and started by looking at his own backyard and painting reflections on his swimming pool. And then he looked up to the sky and everything started to change. So in the spirit, I would say, of magic realism, he started to have, uh, in this case, a red sphere floating within plexiglass boxes within a sky as if it's real objects, but in unlikely or improbable situations. This blending of reality with fantasy uh, made him stand out among all the other artists who were working with uh, more traditional forms of the landscape in the desert. When he first came to Elaine Horwich, he brought her a few pieces and she was going to try them out. And that's a lot of the way she did things. Just take a couple works and see if they were of interest to her clients. Well, she sold his works immediately and uh, they had a great relationship for many, many years. In fact, she put him on a stipend and in his case, he was making $8,000 every month, which was unheard of uh, for a young emerging artist. One of the times that he had an exhibition, however, it was a little sensitive, like many artists are, and he was very unhappy about a bad review he got in the press. Well, she drew him aside, took him to lunch, and she said to him, listen, Masood, you signed up for this kind of life. She said, I have an airplane, I have a big gallery, yet still people say mean things about me in the press. She said, you know, Masood, you can handle this. For instance, she said, I always carry a gun, and she opened up her purse, and there was her pearl-handled Smith & Wesson pistol. He was appalled, but he never forgot her chutzpah. 